If you're one of those people who is dating someone that your parents don't like, you know the strife that can create in your relationship. I think if you're one of the people going through this and you and your partner are trying to deal with it, this video is going to be helpful for you, the two of you. But I also think it's important that you share this with your parents because many times parents don't see how they're reacting what they're saying, and how that's influencing you in your relationship. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's go through the subtle ways, sometimes subtle, sometimes more direct ways that parents are telling their child they don't like or approve of their partner. The most important one, they plan exclusive family functions that their partner, that their child's partner is not going to be able to participate. So they're already excluding the partner. They openly criticize or compare the partner with, with their child's fr other friends who are grown and maybe have a fiance or a partner that they're more fond of. Um, they dismiss your significant other's achievements. When you talk about all the good things that's happening for your partner, they may passively aggressively roll their eyes or change the subject because they don't want to hear what your partner's doing well. They've just decided they don't approve of this partner. Or they may act cold or aloof or distant when your partner's around, not being open or accepting of them. If you're going through this with your partner, I've got some ideas that are going to help the two of you not only get through this, but maybe make your relationship stronger. The first, plan low-key casual get-togethers. A lot of times when parents first meet, their child's significant other, they react negatively because it's taken out of context. It was forced, the meeting was too formal, it was too big of a deal, it was the, the event itself was making your partner uh, or your parents uncomfortable and hence they formed a, a negative image of your partner. Secondly, consider your partner's perspective. Your partners, your parents, I'm sorry, your parents may see things in your partner that you are blinded to. And so it's important that rather than dismiss them or interrupt them, you listen to them because it might be something that you've not dealt with, that you blinded yourself to or ignored the signs of your gut. And since parents raised you, they may see something that's very important. So I'm going to encourage you to hear them out before you say anything. Thirdly, respond with respect and maturity. Remember, if your parents are acting immature or passive aggressive or saying mean things, doesn't mean you should match them there. If your parents are being intolerant or prejudiced, then it's important that you detach from the values they hold surrounding that and so and develop new boundaries, new values to protect those boundaries with your partner that you think are going to be better for your marriage, for your relationship, and for society in all. There's a lot of single-minded, prejudiced people out there. And if your parents are one of them and you're dating someone that their scent makes them feel uncomfortable, then you have to know ahead of time that this may be an issue and make sure that you respect them, but that you detach from that value they hold that is insisting on being intolerant or prejudiced to others. Next, it's important you love your partner for who they are. Take a good look at yourself. Are you dating this person as a form of rebellion against your parents? That does happen. And the reason I want you to look at it is hard to admit sometimes. So you want to be careful that you're not doing that. And lastly, it's important to discuss the situation with your parents. Let your parents know that your love for your new significant other does not mean you love them less. Start out just maybe seeing your parents without this partner and then have your relationship with your partner too. It's important that you're talking to your significant others so they're not hurt by it. Parents who don't accept their adult child's partner are really limiting their own lives. And they're also cutting themselves off from a vital part of their children's life. And I think most parents do come around, but sometimes they don't, especially if their intolerance is rooted 
in real prejudice and hate against a certain population, then you're going to have to do everything you can to continue loving your parents while still protecting the boundaries and valuing those with your partner.